The reef is glowing, not from sunlight, not from bioluminescence, but from something else, something we can't see. A diver hovers motionless, 20 meters down, holding a camera designed to capture ultraviolet and polarized light. What it records isn't just color, it's language. Signals flaring across corals, sudden flashes from the shells of creatures that look motionless to the naked eye. Patterns ripple across their bodies like secret messages. And then, something moves. A blur, too fast to follow. A claw snaps with the speed of a bullet, cracking a crab's armor in a shimmer of micro-bubbles. The camera rewinds. There it is again. Perched in the crevice of a rock, unblinking. Alien. Its eyes never stop moving, each swiveling independently, scanning different parts of the reef like autonomous satellites. Its stare is surgical. Not predatory, not curious. Analytical. We thought we were observing it. But in that moment, it's clear. We're the ones under examination. In the grand theater of biology, vision has always been a central act from the light-sensitive patches of primitive invertebrates to the highly focused eyes of raptors slicing through the sky. Evolution has shaped vision into a tool for survival, for beauty, for deception. The human eye, a masterpiece of engineering, millions of photoreceptors, color discernment, depth perception, motion tracking. But even our most sophisticated optics pale in comparison to what lies hidden in the eyes of one of nature's strangest assassins. Its name rarely appears in school books, its size modest, but its design unlike anything else on earth. With 16 types of photoreceptors compared to our meager three, it perceives a reality that defies our vocabulary. Not just more colors, different categories of color, Hues that don't exist in human experience. Polarization patterns, UV gradients, light orientation. Its world is not just more colorful, it's structured differently. The mantis shrimp, or more precisely, Odontodactylus cilarus, a species so visually advanced, scientists once thought its eyes might contain biological computers. Perched along tropical reefs, this crustacean doesn't see the world we see. It doesn't hunt by detecting motion or color alone. It reads the reef like code. Invisible pulses, angles of reflection, and shifts in electromagnetic structure reveal prey, predators, and mates in a language older than vision itself. And while its eyesight dazzles, it's the brain behind the eyes that raises questions no one has answered. Because here's the twist. Despite having the most complex visual system in the animal kingdom, the mantis shrimp's brain is remarkably small. And the deeper we look into how it processes vision, the more baffling things become. In human vision, the brain does most of the heavy lifting. Our eyes send raw data to the visual cortex, where colors are interpreted, patterns recognized, motion analyzed. But in the mantis shrimp, much of this processing seems to occur inside the eye itself. Each eye contains specialized regions for color, depth, and polarization. These sections operate semi-independently, decoding information before it even reaches the brain. It's as if each eye is running its own analysis lab, offloading the brain's workload by solving visual problems in real time. And that's not all. The mantis shrimp can move each eye separately, up, down, side to side, allowing it to triangulate distances with uncanny precision. Some species even possess trinocular vision in each individual eye, giving them three separate depth cues per eye. That's six depth cues at once. But the real enigma lies in what it sees and how little of that we can understand. When scientists tried to test the mantis shrimp's ability to distinguish colors, they assumed its 16 photoreceptors would make it a color-sorting champion. They were wrong. 
compared to butterflies or birds, animals with far fewer photoreceptors, the mantis shrimp performed surprisingly poorly in color discrimination tasks. Its behavior seemed clumsy, imprecise. It confused shades humans would easily differentiate, which makes no sense. How can an animal with access to an expanded visual universe seem worse at navigating it? One theory suggests that the mantis shrimp's visual system isn't designed for subtle color gradients, but for rapid categorization. Its world isn't made of continuous hues, but of precise, meaningful signals. In a reef where camouflage, mating displays, and territorial warnings happen faster than thought, the ability to instantly recognize this is mate, this is enemy, or this is prey, may be more valuable than seeing 12 shades of green. Another possibility? The shrimp isn't relying on vision the way we do at all. Perhaps it's not about building an internal picture of the world, like a camera. Maybe it's about interpreting triggers, flashes of polarized light that activate specific behaviors, like code being run through a machine. Some scientists even speculate that mantis shrimp vision evolved not for general perception, but for communication. Their bodies reflect polarized light in patterns invisible to predators. They may be holding silent conversations across the reef, unseen by any other species. And there's a darker idea, too, that what the mantis shrimp sees is not or reality at all. It may inhabit a sensory world so alien that it cannot be mapped onto ours. Not a richer version of human sight, but an orthogonal one. A different dimension of perception. In that light, the reef becomes a different place. Not beautiful, not deadly, but encoded. Where light isn't just seen, it's red. And this raises a final, unsettling question. If our perception of the world is entirely shaped by the limits of our senses, then what is the world itself? Is reality a shared thing, independent of the observer? Or is it fragmented, a shifting mosaic, different for each creature, each brain, each pair of eyes? The mantis shrimp doesn't answer. It just watches with the quiet certainty of something that sees far more than we ever will.